Normally, with a horse that comes in that bucks, the first thing I'll do is lighten it up in its mouth so that I get a lot more control of it. Therefore, I'd use this bridle with a twisted wire snaffle. That gives me a lot better contact with the horse's mouth and I'm more capable of keeping that horse's head up and stopping it getting it down between its legs. That's your twisted wire snaffle. You'll also notice behind I've got a bit of uh, baling twine which just ties in fairly loosely so that the bit, when it's in the horse's mouth, doesn't pull through it and will keep it reasonably straight. Once you've got that bridle on, first of all you make the horse go back off the bit. Be quite severe about it, it's got to have a lot of respect for that bit so that uh, there won't be a problem when you do get on that horse. When I get on this horse, of course, I don't expect a problem now. We've taken all the buck out of it. But I'll just show you how we go about remouthing it on its back. The first thing you want to try and do is to get the horse to bend at the pole and back up. That's better. It didn't bend at the pole at first. We'll now just start flexing the horse so that we can lighten its neck up. As you can see, it's a very thick-necked horse. Its head's practically on its chest. But uh, at the same time, we've got to get it to flex exactly the same as we do with horses that are bra we're breaking them in. It's got to come around and bend and bend around to your knee. That'll, once you get that horse light in the neck, you can stop it from bucking. You can get its head up, you can spin it, you can do what you like, but you can stop it bucking. Not a good horse for flexing, but you can see that you can get them working. You can get their neck around. It's not as easy as a good long reined horse, but uh, it's still effective. Still your best method of stopping them bucking. You could hop on this mare now and ride her down the road, you wouldn't have a trouble with her.